details in a different type of crime wave. People stealing plants. Plants already in the ground. And this afternoon, young students take back their garden and tell the thieves to grow up. It's a hard day's work in the dirt. You put it in the little soil thing, you pat it down, and like when it rains and stuff, it grows. Students at Lothrop Magnet Center spent several days digging and planting. We're going to grow some flowers. Only to find that vandals decided to destroy their display. And everybody was proud of it, and lots of positive comments. And then, you know, for that to happen is really disheartening. Principal Gary Westbrook tells me surveillance cameras caught the suspects around 6.30 Tuesday evening. Two young children uprooting the small trees, flowers, and veggies. Their victims don't find it funny at all. Yeah, my own business. But it seems as though stealing plants is a popular crime right now. We found residents' gardens ruined, and even the Joslin Art Museum missing 117 plants. Surveillance showed a man and woman stealing them last week. We have dill over here. The big garden group in Omaha says there's an increased interest in planting, but the purpose is education. If only we could teach criminals that. We're really trying to build these gardens so that people can grow their own food. Um, explain to them the importance of the education that's happening in the garden. Now, again, Lothra's principal believes that kids are responsible for the vandalism at that school. He doesn't want them to pay for it. He wants them to give back and help the students fix the garden.